that with the now function, you can put in today's date and time, and that will update as the date and time change. But a lot of people have asked me, how can you put in the date at which a spreadsheet was created and the time at which a spreadsheet was created so it will not change? And it turns out there's an easy way to do that. If you want to know the date at which the spreadsheet was created or put a static date in the spreadsheet, you control semicolon. So I do control semicolon, and I get today's date, which is May 22nd, 2016. Now, if I do the shift key before I hit the colon, I'll get to the, the exact time that I did that of the keystroke combination. Control shift semicolon, 8.33 a.m. Now, let me use the now function that we're familiar with. So I get May 22nd, 8.33. But now if we wait a little while, this will change to 8.34, right? These will not change. See, right there, that changed to 834. Okay, but right here, it did not change. And if I would sit here until it's May 23rd, then basically this would change to May 23rd, but that won't. But I think that's a very useful tip for a lot of you. Okay, so thanks for watching, and, and there's a free course, a free 21-day course from Dr. Winston, um, and all of these videos are coming from one of three books. So first, this one, which you can see here at the top of the screen, um, Microsoft's book, which has 355 reviews, uh, and then it's, let's see, 4.6 stars. Um, it's coming from this book as well, his marketing analytics book, which is down here, and you can sort of see 4.5, or his newest book, his analytics stories book, which is here. And with that one, you can see it's four point something, or maybe even five. I don't think it's five. Yeah, 4.8. And so, yeah, anyways, in the description, there's a free 21-day course from Dr. Winston, um, or you can go to excelwithwayne.com slash free, and it'll be there. But again, thanks for watching, and if you have any questions, just uh, please let us know. Thanks.